the time is 12.38 p.m. Eastern Time Zone, uh, Friday, 27th of uh, September, year 2024. So we'll confirm this. I'll talk to the proper authorities and announce my wedding plans. I'm not going to let despots stand in the way of that. I have been trapped here for five years, and for two of those years beforehand, I was, I knew I was in trouble with law enforcement, but I didn't commit any crimes. And I'm not insane, so I figured it was because of what I was doing on the internet. And I knew when I was hitting all the mob and all the cops sitting in my, uh, excuse me, sitting in my apartment on Staten Island, I knew that that was dangerous, but I didn't know that I'd have Bannon, who's sitting in prison, thinks he's running the world from prison, the Proud Boys. And I didn't know that I'd have um, Vladimir Putin. Yeah, which is how I met who I get to marry. I know I sound like I'm talking about myself. It's a childish way to talk about things. Uh, some of it is the situation I'm in. That's how I met my, my soon-to-be husband. This is on concrete fact. I can't wait to announce the marriage yet. Yeah, but this is like a child, a, a young girl talking about it. Yeah, I am taking a very childish uh, linguistics about this marriage is much more than just yourself and your wedding yourself your wedding you 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 i know that i do know this i am in here alone and i say the word i i i i i i i i i i i a little too much yeah you can blame bannon putin law enforcement for that i've always been able to connect that together no doubt about it um, this is why those are the folks that were following me from school and their cars, their squad cars. It was scary. I started getting stalked by cops way back in New York City. We'll talk all about this later. So it wasn't hard for me to figure this out. And I kept going and I kept going. But of course I am. You know I'm going to keep going, motherfuckers. All right? Until they created a monster who you hear this very angry woman today. That's okay. Let the anger out. If I got to cuss, if I got to say terrible things, go ahead. What are my actions? I'm not going to stop. Clearly, especially after poisoning me. No, you made it worse for yourselves. Which is what I am to report, which is why I said the time. All right. So, um, in due time, because by the grace of God, I survived these chemical gases that are military. Some of them are from the prisons. I will get to uh, announce my wedding. It's not my wedding, but forgive me. I know how I'm talking about it. Mine, mine, mine. Like, where's the groom? Who are you talking? You marrying yourself? No, I'm not marrying myself. But I can't give details to who this person is. But it, how did I meet them? By helping the special forces. And, and do you, will you know all the story of our, our legacy of love? Yes, you will, because I love to talk about it. I'll dedicate a talk show to it. You'll see fic pictures. It's not a figment, uh, fictional person. Oh, heavens no. This person's highly skilled special forces. Uh, you have to ask him what his title is. Yes, I know what he looks like, if anyone's wondering. Okay, that's all I can say. Oh, I know exactly what somebody I'm going to marry looks like. All right. Yes, he's been with me for five years. Seven of it before, but with me. He's been in this compound with me. Yes, he's the one who defended my life from that cop upstairs yesterday, last night. Now, do you understand? My groom is a very real person breathing and walking and blinking, just like all these despots down at the White House today. Okay? 
yes, this is how people meet. There's no way we're separating out, not in a million years, never. After something like this, going through this together with someone that you completely click with, no, dude. And it is going straight into marriage, which both of us are fine with that. After five years, some people know, like, look, this isn't where we're heading. Let's just do it. It's exactly what's going on, okay? I can finally talk about it. Okay. I am to report. I was just poisoned with what my guidance was when I was in there was strychnine. Probably. The proper authorities will tell me what kind of military gases. They used a myriad of different gases. Poisonous things in here. The United States is so vile and disgusting. There's good people, I told you. There's about 48, 43%. The rest of them go to hell by the millions. Like they all show up in hell by the bus loads. You know how that happens? Weapons of mass destructions from China and Russia. Why did China and Russia strike the United States with WMDs? and send millions of Americans by the busload into hell because of this crap here that I'm testifying to, because of arming Zelensky, because Zelensky's in Russia right now talking with the fake inclusion, working with their president, Putin, who's working with the US Armed Services, who's working with the Pentagon. Everybody's lying their little heads off, but as long as they keep controlling that newspaper, it should work, right? Keep going on TV, which is what they're doing today. Everybody's gonna be on the TV at the White House. Like I have never in my adult life seen so many politicians schedule TV events. Like they're not working and anyone knows that. Anyone who has a real job knows you're not working. Your job is TV, dude. Stop telling me you're writing no executive orders or doing n n nothing. And Zelensky, never in his entire career took any college classes once he became the freaking prime minister. He never decided to maybe achieve that expected criteria of a freaking world leader. You, you never even took econ one. You fucking fake Zelensky. You never took anything. You just remained a TV star and that was your qualifications and you thought that was up to par. You never tried or aspired to be with the job you had. No, you're just there. You've arrived, huh? Everyone bow down. No shit. No wonder why you work with Americans because that's exactly how they are. Go into restaurants. Hmm, should I tip? Hmm, let everyone wait on me. That's why the Americans are there to be waited on, dude. And cooked for and treated like little kings. Everybody's so important. You're no different, Zelensky. No wonder why you're so welcome here. I don't need to go to school. I've been appointed like a king to this job as a world leader. I don't need to have qualifications. I, me, Zelensky, have come. Have you? Anyways, watch what Russia and China do to these freak, these freak idiots. Watch. Because, dude, there's people who are qualified, who are career this or that, who do have incredible, uh, I don't have words, I'll just say, incredible college training skills. That's enough said without me having to search and grasp for, for words trapped in a terrorist cell, because that's what's happening. There are people who have econ uh, degrees, 20 years experience, who I would like to learn from, who have had enough of this. Having Zelensky and crackheads from the US cause massive catastrophe worldwide with the economy. This is it, folks. Get them off the TV. They're gonna cause such disaster just with the economy alone, if allowed to do so. So let me just remind you, this is why China and Russia gotta take it there, dude. They have a terror cell right down the street they just don't stop sending mail, hacking the mail. No one can look at our mail. Sending mail. Like these people are seriously retarded. Even I know that. 
While I was in the bathroom being poisoned, my guidance was it's strict nine. We'll find out. The proper authorities will tell me. It's certainly poisonous. I'm not allowed to say the symptoms, the color of my stool, any d details. It's without doubt lethal. It's not meant to make someone go poo poo. But the geniuses at work can't stop trying. Um, I wasn't allowed. I was forbidden beyond cosmos. It was just beyond cosmos. There was no multiplication beyond that. There was no squaring. There was no algebra involved. It was just a flat out beyond cosmos. Don't report it. So at 10 o'clock this morning, I was hit with this strict nine. Okay. There's been other events that surrounded that that I can't talk about that were surrounding during the strict nine poisoning at 10 a.m. Okay. I was just hit again, but this time with this strict nine poisoning, I was hit in the same room initially, my main room, like the 10 a.m. event, but they got me in my extra room. So I went to the bathroom. I found relief. I didn't uh, have to go. Once I was in there, I stayed in there for a handful of minutes and then came back into my extra room. There are events going on in this terror cell right now that if it comes on video, I can't make comments. This is why it's, it's a hit and miss if I'm allowed to film. And I can't describe or talk about what the fuck I'm witnessing as I film. But for the sake and love of God, at least I can announce the time. It's 12.50 p.m. Okay, so by the time I went and found relief from the strict nine that was in my main room that caused me the second, the second event to run to the bathroom to pee poo, so I believed, I stayed in there because I found relief. My body recovered. I walked back into my extra room. They had fucking filled it up so much that I had a matter of five seconds. And I said out loud, I said, my God, they filled it up in here. I have to turn right around because I'm, I'm in a state of amazement of this gas and how my body's reacting to it, and that they do this every day in the middle of Washington, D.C. No matter what, they're just filling this house up with clearly poisonous gas, no matter what. Are we gonna be hit with nukes and you're still using gas in here? Probably. I mean, that's pitiful. Is, is that your defense for the, for the, for the strikes that you begged begged dude you begged china to do this please china please hit us with wmds please because we're coming we're gonna get you china you did a million and a quadrillion other things to beg china to do it china finally does it and what do you do i'm gonna fill that bedroom up with strychnine again that's gonna save me i'm gonna sit here in dc and uh, they can't touch me here I'm going to keep pumping gas in that house. That's what I'm going to do. That's my war plan. I'm going to sit here with my pile of illegal chemical gases and keep pumping it into that house and no one can touch me or stop me. Although I just got a major city nuked. So what if there's nukes? Our media won't announce it. Our media said it was an electrical failure. Just have the media not report it or lie about it and we'll keep pumping gas into that room and that is our defense. That's my war plan as Zelensky. No, this shit I'm saying is almost, almost completely true. They're so, so jacked up on something. I'm certain Zelensky is. He's, he's under the influence of something, dude. All right, um, so by the time I came back into my extra room, they had filled it up so much with the gas that I said out loud, oh my God, I have to turn right around. I'm in a state of amazement of all the things I just stated. I go back in and then that's when all the people comes gushing out, just like these Ukrainian and dirty uh, military members from Russia who are allegiant to Vladimir Putin, just like the US Armed Services is allegiant to Iran drug cartels and Vladimir Putin and Trump. 
just like all these guys love to hear about how I go pee poo and diarrhea. Look, we're successful. Is that what they talk about? All right. So anyways, they, by the time I came into contact with it, I had to gush pee poo out. I stayed in the bathroom. They started filling up the bathroom. So it was the exact same thing. I got to the edge of my bathtub and it was in the bathroom at that point. I had flushed too. I had flushed. So I guess they could somehow monitor, I presume. She's in there. Hit the bathroom. Yeah, dude. I'm a genius. Yeah, man. Roger, Roger. Dude, dude. There's my walkie talkie. I presume that that's what they're doing, waiting to hear me flush. No, no, when she flushes, pump it in there, pump it in the bathroom, make her people again. Because that's what they do every day, folks, and that's what I'm reporting. So they had filled it up so much in my bathroom that I got to the edge of my bathtub. I had to turn right around and go all over again. By the second round in the same room, being poisoned in that room after flushing, I didn't flush. No, my guidance was at this point very instructed. My guidance in prayer was to sit at the edge of the bathtub. They kept pumping it, but I had gotten the poison out enough where I was just grabbing my body in pain, all that stuff. But I didn't have to get the poison out anymore. But by the grace of God, at least I could sit at the edge of the bathtub. But my instructions were very clear. He said, now I want you to report it. I want you to stay in the bath. I'm summarizing the instructions. I'm summarizing this, okay? We're not doing clear verbatim guidance while I'm sitting on the edge of the bathtub praying. He said, stay in the bathroom for five minutes. They're going to keep pumping it in here. Stay in the bathroom. Don't go in the room. I presume it's because it's so poisonous to my animals. Stay in the bathroom. After about minute three, they stopped pumping it. I felt immediate relief. There was no more poisonous gases in my bathroom. So I stayed in there another two full minutes just sitting there silent. He said, don't say a word. I sat at the edge of the bathtub a sum of five minutes and noticed the gas had gone everything, right? And that's when I went into my main room. There was no gas anywhere, no more running back and forth, having to pee poo. Okay? Great. He said, once you go into your room, I want you to report this, and I want you to report the poisoning from 10 a.m. And I want you to say they are still using chemical weapons, military poisonous gases, inside of 1509 S Street Northwest. He also said to report clearly that there are no sounds in here, such as walkie talkies, chirping, chirp, chirp. Has anyone ever stood by a police officer while that shit's running? It's a continuous chirp, 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 with the dispatch officer running there instructions on their walkie talkie just go stand next to your town law enforcement officer and it's running and it's running in their cars too oh that's what was upstairs yeah he wanted me this is my guidance in the bathroom to recap what happened last night when i went out yesterday from my room within a matter of two minutes once the incident had taken place upstairs i heard a police walkie talkie just running just running i stood there for a couple minutes it probably was longer than one and just listened and listened to the walkie talkie going and going chirp 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 there was a police walkie talkie involved with that presumed what it, what happened up there the 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 presumed terrorist went down like lightning crashed so hard i was thinking before bed that was louder than five or six heidi that's incredible fierce noise and crashing you're witnessing within lightning speed they went down with all the stuff like i said hard stuff and i go out and there's a walkie-talkie police walkie-talkie just running and that, at that point of course i can't go upstairs of course a person knows you might see that walkie-talkie you fucking hear it but i'm not allowed to go look at it 
No. I was only allowed to go downstairs, stand in front of the door, look for the mail, look for anyone in the basement, just confirm there ain't nobody on floor one. Come back upstairs, the walkie-talkie's still running. It's been running, right? If you're standing in the hallway for a couple minutes, you go downstairs, you come back up, you're just moving around. How many minutes that shit just sit there and run? All right? And then I was supposed to just go back in my room. I witnessed all of it. And at that same time, I'm to recap, there was a massive stench of a manufactured chemical stench, which I'm not allowed to talk about. I'm honestly beyond cosmos forbidden from talking about those. That's a general rule. This is so rare that I could mention it. So there was the walkie-talkie, police walkie-talkie, that body that crashed down, louder than, louder than thunder and lightning loud. It was like, it, oh, so loud. And, and it just ran and ran and ran. And while that was happening, the house was engulfed in chemical manufactured stench. I'm supposed to report all this, put it up on the internet, and really can't talk about anything else inside of this wretched property. Oh, one last thing he told me to say, it, through prayer and guidance while I sat on the edge of the toilet, no, no, the edge of the bathtub, just silently sitting there waiting for the gas to stop pumping in my bathroom. He said, report the dead bodies by your toilet and your sink. I noticed it all day, but I wasn't allowed to say anything. So at 1 p.m. Eastern time, six blocks down from the White House, Washington, D.C., September 27th, the year 2024, I am to report my sink and my toilet in my second floor bathroom have rotting dead corpses stuffed somewhere around there. And you don't have to flush. You don't have to run the water. It's just coming out somewhere from the wall, wherever they stuffed it. All you got to do is walk right there and it's everywhere from the ceiling to the floor. It's right there. All right. Goodbye.